Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you the top five things you can do to get ready to travel when the world opens back up for business. I can be with you Before we get into my tips, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment of where in the world you want to go when the world of travel opens back up. On the screen right now, this is just my short list. So everybody, welcome to the 100 degree plus desert that we have here in Arizona during the summer. So normally I would like to be traveling right now, but as we know, the world's not fully open for business just quite yet. So I'm going to show you the top five things that you need to do to be ready when the world opens for business. So here we go. The first tip is update that passport. That's right, your passport is your ticket to see the world. It's your document that allows you to cross borders and to experience new environments. But the problem is, what if your passport's about to expire? Oh, bees out here. <laughs> so anyhow, take a look at your passports. Now, if, you're, if you try to enter a country with less than six months left before your passport expires, they're gonna deny you entry. Right now, because we can't go anywhere, is a great time to renew your passport. Now here's a little pro tip. Don't pay for the express service. We're not going anywhere for a while, so don't worry about it. Yes, it'll take anywhere from four weeks to two months to get your passport, your new passport. It's okay because you're not gonna use it. Now's the time to do your renewal. And without a passport, you would not be able to enjoy a moment like this in Rome. Tip number two, get in shape. Yep, that's right. To really enjoy travel, you need to be in shape. Now let's take a look at this. If you think that you're gonna to go to the beach, but you've put on the quarantine 15, you might want to start working out just a little bit more. Or what if you're planning that amazing alpine hike in the Swiss Alps? Trust me, those verticals, that altitude, you are not going to enjoy it unless you're in shape. That doesn't mean you have to go bulk up. You go for walks, all right? Eat better. That's what I'm doing right now. So before all this started, I actually took off about, actually a little more than 20 pounds, and I'm keeping it off because I'm eating smart, and I'm also finding extra, uh, opportunities to exercise, like tonight. I did not need to carry a huge back, heavy backpack out here into the wilderness. I did it just so I can get a little bit more exercise. So look for opportunities to shed a few of those pounds you've probably been putting on since you've been home so you can enjoy your next trip. Okay, apparently this is called the Venice Night Trail. All right, here is tip number three for you. Plan. I'm not kidding you, plan. Planning can save you so much money. So when I took my wife to Europe last time, we planned for a spring trip. Now we were heading for the Alps, so we knew there's a chance of some chilly temperatures. We didn't expect this. Well, it's a good thing I grew up in cold weather because this is our vacation spot. They got hit with winter again. Yeah. 
yeah, winter returned to Germany. But it's okay. We still managed to enjoy ourselves. We got the to tour. I think it was King Ludwig's castle. But anyhow, here it is. It was beautiful. Um, absolutely beautiful place to visit. But the weather forecast was not improving, so we decided to embrace winter. Now, luckily, in our planning, did a few things. First of all, we decided a Eurorail pass would be best for us so we can hop around. Traveling through Switzerland, first class style. Also, what I did is, for every little city or town or village, what have you, we are interested in, before we left, I got on Airbnb, created a little trip folder, and saved different properties that were of interest to us in case we decided to go there. Now, unfortunately, our decision to leave where we were at was kind of a last minute thing. Uh, two nights earlier, the rooms in Zermatt, Switzerland, which is where we decided to go to, were available. The day before, they were not. So, we ended up having to pay about $150 more per evening to stay there, um, which I will admit it was kind of worth it, but nonetheless, that we spent a total of $450 extra dollars because we didn't plan far enough ahead and book our room. So those are some things you need to think about. Now, just to give you an idea how expensive Zermatt could be, we essentially ate dinner at McDonald's. It, for the two of us, cost about $27 a meal. They even charged us per packet of ketchup. So here's a little pro tip if you're heading out to Zermatt or actually anywhere in Switzerland. Take a look at the grocery stores. Just like here in the States, they have prepackaged sandwiches and meals that are far cheaper than eating at a restaurant and really save you a lot of money. We are hoping to get an Airbnb with a kitchen so we can cook for ourselves, but like I said, that didn't happen. And since we didn't get one of our Airbnbs, we had another problem. Okay, so after paying $25 for McDonald's, we're too cheap to pay for the laundry service, so we're doing our own laundry. So we hung our clothes out to dry. Oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> I think it froze. <laughs> Maybe a little fabric softener next time would be good. <laughs> we gotta thaw that out. Well, that is funny. Okay, one more thing. Looking over here. This is ice hanging on my drawers. Look, look at this. More ice up there. I think it's cold out. Now that you've got your planning, you know how much money it's gonna cost you to go there. Uh, airfare, tr ground transportation, roughly idea on hotels, roughly an idea on how much uh, your food and your activity is gonna cost. Here is the next tip, save money. Now, I understand if you look at commercials, corporate America wants you to here, have this credit card, go on a trip. They're doing that because that's how they take your money away from you. You do not want to do that. What you want to do is you want to save money so that you are not traveling on a credit card. I mean, yes, you're going to use a credit card. You have to. But the idea is to pay that credit card off as soon as you get home. That's why it's so important for you to be saving your money. Now, I know for a lot of you, that's kind of a buzzkill because you want that vacation now. Patience. Trust me on this one. Knowing that you're not going to come home in debt makes the vacation so much more enjoyable. And here's the best tip I can give you. And again, for many of you, it's going to be a buzzkill. But there's a reason for this. Pay off the credit card. Credit cards kill travel. That's kind of weird because credit cards enable us to travel, but they also kill travel as well. The reason is if you have high credit card debt, you clearly are not financially ready to go and see the world. So what you need to do is pay down that credit card. Now I know some of you got some stimulus check money instead of blowing it on more crap from China. Go ahead and use that to pay off your pay down that credit card. Let me tell you something. It is a completely different relaxing experience 
when you can fly off and go on a trip knowing that you when you come home you're going to pay that credit card off completely right then and there and be done if you can pay that credit card off before interest or finance charges incur the big banks the big corporations that are trying to take your money away from you they lose you win now not all credit cards are bad like for example I, the one that i use gives me air miles but i also pay it off every month so that big corporate america loses i win that is one of the best things that you can do for yourself to get ready to travel imagine how much more relaxing this gondola ride in Venice, Italy would be knowing that you're not going in debt to be there. So everybody, those are my five tips on what you need to do right now in order to get ready to travel. And I know some of them don't really sound too exciting, but trust me, you can't travel in debt. You can't travel if you don't have money and you certainly are not going to enjoy your travel if you're out of shape and you don't have a passport. So if you like travel or photography, and by the way, photography is the reason why I'm standing here in the middle of the desert tonight because I'm about to do a sunset photo shoot here. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and ring that notification bell. I post episodes twice a week and I would love to have you joining me on this channel. Remember everybody, never stop exploring. I will see all of you somewhere in the world. And while you're planning your next big adventure, enjoy the street performers on the Golden Bridge in Florence, Italy.